It is crazy to be here. This is exactly where it was. Walt standing out here deciding whether or not to pull a gun on himself. And he's looking round the corner here. And then the fire truck comes round. Amazing. I think this might be one of the cooler locations we've found from the show. Which is strange because it's a bit of an out of the way one. But it's just lovely to be around all these beautiful red New Mexican rocks. What a beautiful state. The land of enchantment. Get out here and see it for yourself. I don't work for the tourism board, but if they want to give me a job, then maybe. Tohajili. So we're on Piermont Drive Northeast, and this is probably one of the most famous Breaking Bad locations. Walter White's house, it's just up here on the right. Uh, the last time I came here, you'll be able to see from the picture, it was uh, a lot less trafficked, but since the overwhelming success and legacy of the show, the residents have got kind of sick of people showing up in their cars and have put a big fence up. So I'm going to put you guys out the window and you'll be able to see it better. This is Delta Uniform and Linen, otherwise probably better known as the site of Heisenberg's Secret Lab, featured in many, many episodes. As you can see, they're still hard at work cleaning towels, but we all know those drums are really full of methylamine. This is a good one. I bet they get tons of visitors. This is Jesse Pinkman's house that he eventually buys from his aunt who passed away. Looks a little less well noticeable without a giant meth lab RV in the driveway. They've obviously built this garage with the money that the production crew probably paid them to shoot there. But yeah, this is Jesse's house. And in fact, just next to Jesse's house, you can see the tree that Crazy 8 runs into after he tries to escape from Jesse's basement. Oh, God. We're not going to stop, but another quick Breaking Bad location drive by. This is the Dog House, famous hot dog place with great nighttime neons where they meet up. Looks really amazing at night, as you can see. Here's another famous Breaking Bad location, Java Joe's. Better known as Tuco's headquarters. Another famous Breaking Bad location, the Crossroads Motel. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Pulling up on the right here, you will recognize this as Jesse and Jane's apartment. There's the little stoop where they used to sneak cigarettes together and secretly hold hands. The love story for the ages. And a sweet little house too. Now arriving at Loma, Colorado Public Library. Better known in Breaking Bad as the Mesa Credit Union where Walt and Jesse go to get their seed money for their new enterprise. Just 
just a little way down the road from the Mesa Credit Union is Rio Rancho High School, also known as J.P. Wynn High School, uh, that Walt works at and Walt Jr. attends. You can see this railing where uh, Walt parks his Prius and then walks in towards this administration building. This is the car wash from Breaking Bad. Uh, used to be called the A1 car wash in the show. And all the scenes I think were filmed inside here. So let's go take a look. All right, let's take a look inside the A1 car wash. Oh, look, autograph pictures from the whole past. Right. It's really nice of them to have opened this up as kind of a museum for fans. They have a Breaking Bad vending machine. Unfortunately, there's no map in it. This is really cool. It's quite a small space for them to have filmed all those scenes in, but impressive. Here we are in the foothills of the Sandia mountain range and on Cumbre del Sur Court there is a house on the right here that belonged to Hank and Marie in Breaking Bad. 4901 and I really hope the residents of this place don't hate people turning up and gawking at their houses because there's some really nice houses here. Up here on the right, you'll see this weird kind of blocky shaped dam. And this is the location where uh, Jesse is gonna get picked up by the vacuum repair guy uh, to start a new life in Belize. And it's right there at that dam. Does this place look familiar? This place at one time was way better known as Casa Tranquila. And it was the nursing home where they put Hector Salamanca and eventually where uh, Walt helped him to meet his demise, also bringing down Gus Fring in the process. You can kind of tell this top part is still the same, but oddly, where there used to be a doorway, it seems to have been boarded up. And also, this kind of uh, garden area out the front that I'm assuming uh, the characters walk through at the start is a lot more vegetative than it was during filming of Breaking Bad. Of all of these locations we've been to, there is one that is probably the most famous. And it's this Twister's fast food place, better known as Los Pollos Hermanos. They're open today. There it is. <laughs> That's funny. Hi. This is the real deal. Look at this. Some great signed memorabilia. So many scenes happened here. Some good memories and some scary ones too. 
Twisters have been pretty open about the fact that they might not have been able to keep open and surviving were it not for the great shows that have been filmed here, both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. They also have some great food on the menu, so if you're in the area, stop and get a burrito one day. Put your face in here. <laughs> it's nice to see a place like enjoying its fame. Just expect to see Gus Brain coming and clearing out these trash cans. Well, I hope this series has been informative for you as a fan of TV. Uh, thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more movie location videos and other fun stuff. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. From me, from Albuquerque, for now, see you later.